Hello guys, today we will talk about data exchange between MATLAB and explain using the user datagram protocol or UDP for short. Like other flight simulators, explain provides the possibility to write plugins that actually run inside explain itself using the sof software development kit. However, explain stands out by the fact that it provides another mean of, do, of doing its communication, which is UDP. UDP has the advantage that it's easy and you can do a lot of things with it. In the contrary, the plugins method has a steep learning curve. Explain provides multiple types of meshes, messages you can use for the UDP communications. Some have particular functions. For example, you can use explain to drive your visual system, or you can use explain as a visual system with your aircraft model. You can issue comments, etc. But today, we speak about the data message, which is more generic and permit us to send and receive data. The first thing we should know is the explain data packet. It has the following form. It has a five bytes here in the beginning, which spells the word data in ASCII and plus a terminating, terminating zero string following nine nine sets each having four bytes we have the index of the data for example here we have 17 triple zero which is roll pitch and headings as you can see we always use only the four first bytes Following are eight simulation parameters with some can be uh, can be empty. Each value is four bytes. For example, you can see here that the number 1.52 can be represented by the following four bytes. For example, here we have the actual throttle command the actual throttle for the empty values we have we will receive from explain the number minus 19 999 also when we send we will send the data package for the parameters that we don't want to change we issue the minus 99 Minus 999, which is in uh, which is represented by four following bytes. Now this is all the theoretical parts. Let's go ahead to MATLAB and implement and implement it. So we have that explain and MATLAB and uh, up and running. Here is the data I choose to receive from explain. I choose to show it in the cockpit also. Go to setting data output. Here I've chosen speeds. And X3, this gives you the air speeds indicated equivalent and true air speeds. I've also choose joystick. L run L face for and rather stats and X8 and the corresponding flight controls. Also the trim data, pitch roll and headings. Also choose to receive throttle both commanded and actual. Since MATLAB and you and explain other on the same computer, we we have 
IP address of the local host, and we choose to use the ports to send to the port 49003. We have the UTP rate for 10 packets per second, which is good for the purpose of this video. So let's head to MATLAB. It is straightforward to work with UDP in MATLAB. First, we define an input output stream using the function UDP. We should specify the IP address. And the ports we should listen to. Should mandatory explicit is the local ports. If you do, if you do like this, it will be running on this ports, but you will not listen to it. it will Okay, so next we need to open the stream and read from it to the one dimensional LAA. If it has two arguments. Input output stream and the number of bytes. Number of bytes depends on the number of sets we have chosen. We have chosen here seven sets of information. Each set has eight parameters, and we have also each parameter have has four bytes and also four bytes for the index. So nine times four bytes plus five bytes for the headers. Next we need to transform the one dimension array into a matrix just like this one to be readable. We have the outer loop runs from 1 to n and an inner loop that runs from 2 to 9 from 2 because we don't want to read the index. So we have above E and G minus one. This data will be a floating point number with single precision four bytes. So we need to transform the four bytes into a single floating point. So you use the function typecast. And cast it to type single. So here we need to have four bytes. It should be interpreted as inside int. So we will have a range inside the array A. This range will start at six because five for the header, five bytes for the header. We'll have P e minus one times 36, that is 9 multiplied by 4. You have g minus 1 multiplied by 4. The upper limit for this range will be the same, plus 3, of course. Here you have it. Let's run the program. Let's go to the data variable. We'll have this same matrix here. You can compare it and see that it is the same. Here we have minus 999 for the empty positions. So that's it. Let's Let's send data to. Let's send data now to MATLAB. Let's send data to explain. 
for example, we set throttle number one to full power. Let's also define the no comment for the parameters we don't want to change as a single precision floating number minus nine. We'll define the header as an inside int array containing 68, which is the ASCII code for capital letter D, 65, which is ASCII code for capital letter A, T, A again, and the search machine no. No terminations. Character. Next, let's define the index for the trachy commanded. Which is as we saw earlier. Twenty five. And it's 25. Trust recommended. Next, we'll define the command. We want to issue it will be an array of type single fortune numbers first it will have battle one and the seven eight values the seven next values will be no command because we don't want to change those Next, we will have the diagram I want to send. We make a function inside this file called serialize. Thus, we put all the data we sent in byte format. So, we will have the header. The index and then the actual, the actual data. Then we will define an input output data stream as we did for receiving. This time it will have the port that explain the sense to which is 49,000 open the stream and write to it now let's define the serialize function. It will have variable uh, number of arguments because we can send multiple data. First we do is get the number of variables In the variable n, the final index to be the index of the bytes we have reached, commence with one. 
course. Next, we will change the type of applicable of the argument number E, number I, to inside int This should be named loop from one to the number of variables. Let's have the size of size in bytes, the variable w. We have a variable we will output, we call it the call it output. From the index to index plus y minus one we'll have small w. and move by y unit. And the function here. So let's try it. Here we have Command the throttle to be zero and actual throttle is zero. Let's run this. see that the commanded throttle went to full power but the actual throttle didn't this is something wrong let's see the position of the throttle as you can see it is in the right position Because, uh, because we have we are post this and pause and you see that the actual throttle also changed. If you want to change both throttles, we'll go like this. And here instead a no comment we show value for and changes and also this. 